Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys some of the methods that you can call on strings, like some of the built-in string functions, um, and how to like um, work with strings in Python. So let's get into it. So let's take, for example, I have this um, name variable, and let's put John, all lowercase, in there. Okay. One function I can call is capitalize, just like that and it'll return the capitalized uh, string. So you can use that method. Another method you can use is the encode method. And this is how you turn a string into a byte string in Python 3. So you can go ahead and do name.encode UTF-8. And you can see it's prefixed with this B, which means it's a binary string. You can also do something like name.count and for example let's do h let's count the number of h's in the name john and you'll see there's one if i did something like j o h h n for whatever reason and i did count and i did h i get two you can also do name dot ends with oops name dot ends with and you can check if the string ends with this substring. So in this case, I'm going to check if it ends with HN. I get a true. If I did WN, I'll get a false. Some other, um, so now we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how to splice a string. So for example, if I did uh, start equals name dot find, and then I did the O, oops, the O, I'll get one and that's because uh, when you're counting the string J we start at the zero index so this is zero and the O is in the one index right here right and then if I did name dot find and then say n I'll get three and again that's because it's zero one two three it's in the third index so we can do something like n equals name dot find n to save that value, right? And let me just print name out one more time so it's clear. So I can do name and then start colon end plus one. And what this should print out is o h n. And that's because, you know, this n plus one might be confusing, but how you splice strings in Python is you take the string and then open brackets like this and then you have the start index where you want to start um, splitting up the string so in this case it's one so we're going to start here and then where you want to stop is right here and you don't actually stop at that number you stop at the number before so for example we have our end as three so it'd be zero um, sorry, one, two, and then this is three, so you would stop at H. You would actually not um, include three. So that's why I did N plus one, so that this would be four, zero to four, so it'd go zero, one, sorry, one, two, three, stop at four, which is end of the string. So if I do this, you can see I get OHN. If I were to just do end, right, I would stop at OH for that reason. The end is non-inclusive. So you can also check if your string is a digit by doing something like this. One, string one is digit true. You could also do something like one dot is decimal. You get the same thing. Um, you can also check if a string is a um, proper variable or if it could be used as a variable name. So example, variable name dot is identifier like that that's true but if you were to do something like put a one in front of that that's in that's not a valid identifier name you get a false right you can also do something like this you could do you can use the join function so say i use this string the and i want to um separate this list of one, two, and three, 
I can call the join function, and what this will do is put these put these uh, three strings one, two, and three together, and um, append this uh, um, dash in between them. So you'll get something like this. I could I could very easily put a comma in here and make it one, two, three string. Um, you can undo this, so I could do one comma two comma three using the split function and what you want to split the string by so in this case I want to split it by the comma and it'll return me a list and then another useful function that I like to use is say I have a string like this and then I do split it'll remove all the white spaces for me so I'll get a string just like that or sorry split I mean strip strip and I'll get a string with no spaces. It'll just remove all the um, ending and starting uh, spaces. You can also do something like this. The last two functions that I find useful are like uppercase FFFF and then you could call the lower function and it'll turn the string into a lowercase string. Then you can also do something like FFFF dot upper and it'll turn your string into an uppercase string. Cool, I think that's pretty much the most important functions, string functions. Um, if you found this useful, please leave me a like, subscribe, uh, thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next